Boxing truth here. Mikey Garcia fucked up. He's definitely feeling the type of way. He just pretty much lost his legacy fight. I mean, Lenaris Lomachenko is not official, but it looks like it's going to happen. I mean, Lomachenko has nowhere to go. Beltran's not going to be ready by April. He's going to be fighting February 16th. There's no guarantees he'll beat Paulus Moses. But even if he does, you know, let that dude enjoy being champion for a little bit. I mean, he's worked so hard. It's not right to have him just as a belt polisher to Lomachenko. Let him get at least one title defense. In the meantime, let, uh, Lomachenko could fight the lineal champion of the division. The more recognized champion of the division. But for Mikey Garcia, he's never going to get the Jorge Linares fight. He shouldn't have turned it down. He fucked up. He outsmarted himself. He thinks he's smart. But when it comes to his business decisions, he don't look so bright. And now he's going to go into... A what I see is a very tough fight against an unknown champion who is coming off the title victory over a condo. He's going to make his first defense. He's very hungry. He's a bigger guy than Linares. He's a stronger guy. He punches harder. And he's a lot fresher than Linares. He don't cut as easily. So to me, this is just as tough a fight, maybe even tougher than a potential Linares fight from Mikey Garcia. Linares can present stylistic problems because of his his footwork, his speed, and his range. That type of style could really trouble Mikey. But Mikey fucked up. I mean, now he's feeling some type of way, asking questions to Linares of what happened. Was trying to bank on uh, the WC ordering the fight. But Linares and his team, they got fed up. They pretty much believed the fight with Garcia wasn't going to happen. They offered it to him on the table. They gave him everything he wanted. 50-50 down the middle. Everything. Not even a, 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 a further commitment to Golden Boy. Just a one fight deal. Mandated bout. Winner take all. The winner moves on to bigger and better things. And Mikey turned it down. And now he just lost his legacy fight. And instead will fight Lippinitz in a fight nobody was asking for, but is it is a good fight. But this is the fight that's not gonna propel his career to the next level. The Lenares fight was the right business decision to make. Maybe it wasn't his biggest payday, but it definitely would have the, the the rewards would have been much more beneficial. He would have been more recognized. He would be considered a lineal champ in the division. Now potentially he's never gonna get the Lenares fight because Honestly, I don't I don't see Lenares beating Lomachenko unless he brings out something extra special, which I haven't seen in his past couple of performances because the last two performances, that Lenares is not going to get it done against Lomachenko. He's got to bring a lot more to the table. He's got to be 10 times better than what he showed in his last two performances. And at this stage, I just don't see it. Maybe this fight will get him pumped up and get him amped amped up like crazy to where he's punching harder and faster than ever but you still gotta fight the fights but you still have to significantly favor Lomachenko and then Loma, and when, and if Lomachenko beats Linares that fight's it's off the table from Mikey he loses his legacy fight and and if Mikey beats Lipinus it's only gonna get worse from there because the Lomachenko fight ain't gonna happen Lomachenko is probably going to go in another direction. May look for a more bigger fight. So Mikey really shot himself in the foot here. He outsmarted himself. It wasn't the right move. Now potentially, he could either lose to Lipinitz, which will be a big blow to his career, or he can beat Lipinitz and end up fighting bum-ass Robert Easter Jr. For his, for his bullshit belt. One of the fake champions parading around there. In boxing, Easter's coming off another. It was close, but he lost. Fortuna beat him. Barely, but he beat him. So he's coming off another gift decision. No one gives a shit about Easter. He's he's irrelevant. He ain't that good. Tough, but not that good. And these are the type of fights that are not going to propel Mikey Garcia to the next level. I don't know when Mikey's going to wake up. He should have followed his own his own advice. He should have 
not taking out Heyman's advice because all he's done is given him bad advice. A guy who has no plans in making him a pay-per-view star. A guy who set him up to get lo- to lose to Adrian Broner, but he was able to get away unscathed. A guy who may be setting him up to lose to Lippinitz and plans to put him on in even tougher fights in the future. I'm not knocking the fights Mikey Garcia is taking. They're good fights, but they're not fights the people are asking for. These are not the fights that are going to make him into what he wants to be. If he beats Lipinets, it's it might even get tougher for him. He could end up fighting the <clears throat> the Bartholomew Relic winner. Or he could fight Easter Jr., which is not going to do jack shit for him. No one's going to... Re- I mean, people will tune in, but we all know what Easter Jr. is. He's definitely not the number one lightweight in the world. Just a paper champion. Coming off good decisions. Won't do nothing for Mikey's career. So... We'll see where Mikey's career go from here. I got a hunch he could potentially lose to Lipinitz. Definitely uh, feeling some type of way after losing Lenara's fight. That was the fight he should have took. But now he's going to potentially lose both fights. Lenara's, Lomachenko, and he ends up with Lipinitz, bomb-ass Robert Easter Jr., Barfelli, Relic winner. And if he gets past through that, all of that, he will end up getting fed to either Errol Spence and Keith Thurman. And that is Mikey Garcia's career. Should have took Lenara's fight, bro. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.